Hello family, I hope you are doing well. My name is Fortune Kwanyana. Thank you very much for choosing the Rise and Grind on this beautiful Sunday afternoon. You made the right choice. I am your best friend on the other side. On today's episode, I want to tackle something very important. But before I start, I want to say it's still men's month. I want to say shout out to all the men out there, all the good, right, standing, out, amazing citizens of South Africa. But Miss Lisa, Abakoto, Sandbingelela, Sitsige, Jesse, Abakulu, Utsige, Nikona. Uh, you are amazing to the young boys as well grow up to be amazing men as well and to all my women out there the ladies the amazing ladies a very very sunday afternoon greetings to you as well on today's episode i want to talk about something that is very important i want to talk about something that says the power of imagination yeah 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 one of the most amazing thing about being a man is that you get to be given the responsibility of imagining a better life for yourself a family you will want to have one day imagine you know we all have this role but as men when we are young we are told to have a family a beautiful family and therefore we imagine a lot of things one may ask what is this imagination thing you're talking about fortune yes imagination in my book think excellence if you don't have that book make sure that you get yourself a copy because that book will change your life it talks about the power of thinking and how to become excellent in your thinking and imagination is a huge topic about that remember you can never achieve what you have never envisioned if you've never seen it in your mind you will never hold it in your hands I was still a young boy when I believed in a dream of public speaking. At the time, they laughed at me when I said I'll one day speak in arenas with an audience of 5,000 people and more people to that. I will change many lives and impact people on many, many platforms. At the time, my imagination told me I would do that. My imagination told me I could do that. I dreamed it, I saw it, I thought of it, and then I believed it. So I want to say to you as you are watching this, on this beautiful afternoon on Sunday you have to imagine something your imagination is your power they can take away a lot of things but one thing they can never take away is your power to imagine a better life for yourself imagination is simply a future life's coming attraction it is a picture into the future of what is possible for you if you can never imagine yourself first class with flight you chances are you'll never sit on the first class in a flight i remember nami when i used to always be able to only afford to fly a economy and only go low class airlines you know i would always you know imagine we're with business class in example with saa or in a british airway I would imagine it, but at the time I didn't have the power or Amanda Gwazi to buy myself a ticket. But I imagined it until my imagination had enough power to pull me to say, hey, look, why don't you try it? So I remember this one time I was booked to go and speak in Johannesburg. I had the ability to book a, a, a low cost domestic airline ship, but hey, I said, no. I've always imagined flying go SAA, J first class, you know, Gibbon. Because, you know, go first class, I'm going to say, 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 I didn't know. So, what am I trying to say to you? Zonke Lezizinto that you are imagining, they have the ability to become a reality. Kunes Zatu Wa in Jalo, when I'm going to say, I'm going to say, I'm going to say, I'm going to say, I'm it's the power of imagination. You are imagining yourself there one day. So what I'm saying to you, Namtanje, don't be afraid to imagine a better life for yourself. But Miss Lisa out there, 
Don't be afraid to have a healthy family, a beautiful family. so properly, you know, structured. That should never stop you from imagining a better life for yourself. That should never deprive you from believing that you can have a better life. And it begins with imagination. If you have never imagined it, you will never live it. I imagined myself where I am. And I'm telling you even now, I am imagining myself also working with international speakers, doing big corporate companies internationally, traveling the rest of the world. Now, I'm telling you this now. I will remind you of this video a couple of years down and say, you remember I told you I imagined myself talking to presidents? I imagined myself talking to international leaders? And then the imagination began to pull me towards it because that's the power of imagination. If you can see it, you can achieve it. You can attest to this. But figured out things are moving ahead, your life is becoming better. What I want to say to you is don't stop imagining. Don't stop seeing yourself do better. Don't stop believing that your realities can become possible. Those dreams, those ideas, you have what it takes. So Namtha and Jay, in closing, I want to say something to you, a very important story to me that changed my whole life. There was a young boy who imagined himself impacting the world at large. He grew up in the rurals of Eastern Cape. He believed that joining political, the political world will help him change the world. He went on to become a lawyer. He also loved boxing, he was a boxer. He believed so much and imagined a world that was free. There was no, there was no oppression in the world that he imagined. He saw himself walking amongst the greats. He even was willing to go to prison to make that dream, which he saw is in, in his imagination, become a reality. Today, he's no more. But his world and his name, his legacy lives forever. That was that to Nelson Mandela. He imagined a beautiful, democratically free South Africa. And today we live in it. That is the power of imagination. The question is, what are you imagining yourself as in the next 10 years? What do you see in the next 15 years? Yeah, I know you are employed, but do you still see yourself in the same position, in the same job? Where do you see yourself? What's your future like in the company you work for? In your own business, when you look at your business, you try and look at it clearly. What's the longevity of that business? What do you want it to become in the long run? Don't be afraid to dream. Don't be afraid to imagine life as best as it possibly can. Some say the best is yet to come. I also want to say the same thing. I want to tell you that you have not yet lived your best days. You have not yet smiled your best smile. You have not yet driven your best car. You have not yet experienced working the best position you can work. You have not yet grown your business to its potential. So with that, as you finish watching this video, I want you to pick up a piece of paper. Write down what do you see in your future. I want you to imagine yourself 10 years from now. Imagine yourself living a great life. Imagine yourself with a beautiful family, with kids and everything flowing. And write it down. Make it plain. You know what the Bible says? Write down that vision and make it plain and it's appointed time, it will come to reality. What the Bible is teaching you there is the power of imagination. The question is, what do you see? Because if you don't see nothing, you ain't never gonna achieve nothing. It's impossible to achieve what you've never seen. So as you wrap up this video, I wanna challenge you. 
Don't be afraid to dream big. Don't be afraid to dream big. Don't be afraid to dream big. Stop dreaming small. Stop saying that's in Gifunelu and Rumyana. No, dream about that big house. You have the ability to dream. You have the ability to imagine a better life for yourself. With that being said, join me. Say with me these words. Say, I am the best of the best. I am amazing. I am successful. I am more than a conqueror. I am a cut above the rest. I have what it takes to change my family's life. I have what it takes to make my family better than the one I come from. I have what it takes to be the best in the community I come from. I am more than a conqueror. I am beautiful. I am amazing. I am handsome. I am powerful. I am a superstar. And thank God for yet another chance to rise and grind. Have yourself a fantastic week. And don't forget, before you sleep today, allow your imagination to go wild on what is possible for you. Because the best is still ahead of you. Have a blessed day.